What about you? Welcome to Premier Lawns video. Weed grasses, apparently I got it wrong. We're gonna go through it all step by step, let's go. Welcome back. So apparently in my last video, about a month ago, we filmed, or I filmed a video on how to control weed grasses in your lawn or how I control weed grasses in my lawn. And apparently I made a fatal error. I know this because a lot of people have been telling me on social media and in the comments on my videos. Now I'm happy to take any constructive criticism in this video if you have anything to say about how of how and why we got here please leave me a comment down below and don't forget to smash that like button because it always helps me out helps me grow my channel so let's get on with it i've just got the more out and unfortunately the last time i had it out it actually broke so this is the problem with old moors that I've just brought the mower down to the mechanic and he's made a, a quick fix for me. The, one of the things I'm not good at is mechanics. So a lot of you guys are always asking me stuff and you always assume that I know all the answers to everything to do along care. 100% don't. It's important to me that anytime I make videos, the stuff that I put out is factual and correct. So because of that, I actually employ somebody, a lovely lady called Angela, and she helps me write scripts and research the stuff that we put out in front of you because I always want to make sure that the stuff that I'm putting out is is right so if I get it wrong I always want to know if you think I'm wrong always leave me a comment down below I'm happy enough to take any constructive feedback so let's get this out of the van now just before I start cutting the grass I want to give you a quick update to where we are because I'm quite happy with how the lawn looks so did a video a couple of weeks ago about plant growth regulator and it took some of the, there were some dog urine stains here and we dug them out and we put them in and those patches are starting to take and the lawn looks quite well but they are taken away from the lawn just a bit we'll have this patch here just as you walk on the lawn really noticeable gonna have to fix that at some point but there's another patch there which is quite annoying it's right beside a patch that it did previously fix so i'm pretty happy with the lawn and i think i'm getting i actually do think i'm getting on top of the poa if you have a look at the lawn, there's not too many seed heads. I've been very cutting stroke scarf on every week. And um, we put on the plant growth regulator and I think that's helping as well. But there's not too many seed heads across the lawn. So I do think what I'm doing is working 100%. I think I am getting on top of it. As I say, very cut every week. Cut the grass, very cut. And then lifts the seed heads up and we'll get a good cut on them. So that's the lawn cut. Pretty happy with how that looks. I'm going to get the verde cutter stroke scarfire out and we're going to start scarfing. So let's do that now. I know this is where the contention starts. So I use an old scarfire that I had from the business, from the lawn treatment business. I'm now using this as a verde cutter. It is 100% not a verde cutter, it's a scarfire. The crack is it doesn't have a box on it. It leaves the seeds lying on the lawn, but I'm gonna get more into that in a second. But I just do it nice and lightly. I'm gonna run a clip from my previous video of why we use this, how I use it as a verde cutter, not as a scarfire. Now, a lot of people are saying to me, Robbie, you're dropping weed seeds all over the lawn because that obviously has no mean, no way to collect seeds, but I'm gonna cover that shortly. Now, what we're going to do, the best way to control poana or annual meadow grass due to the way it grows, because it grows flat, grows flat, doesn't grow straight up like normal grass, we want to cut lines into it. So as it lies, lies down, the best way to control it is you want to get a knife or a blade or something to cut it. Whenever you cut it, then you're cutting those stems. You're cutting all the stems that are all lying flat. Our normal grass grows like that, but annual meadow grass, it grows like that. And it's one of the reasons why. So we take our knife and whatever you can do to cut it across. So that's what we're looking to do.
So I've just stopped midway just to show you. Now you can see that I'm really not taking much out of the lawn, just taking bits and pieces out. So if I have a look at some of the seed heads that were pulled out, just taking it from a random place in the lawn. The edges around the lawn are quite stressed out at the moment. It's been very warm lately. I'm going to leave those areas. It's important that if you're going to be vertically cutting your lawn, you don't cut anywhere that is stressed out or has drought stress. I've had to switch over to my GoPro because unfortunately the battery died on my main camera. So brought you into the field here. Now, whenever you look around, there's an absolute sea of sea seed heads everywhere. And this is what I, I'm trying to explain to you about the verde cutting. So yes, 100%, if I had a machine that had a box on it, then I would be boxing off my seed heads. Unfortunately, I don't. Now, a lot of people think that YouTubers make a lot of money. We actually don't. I make between a penny and 5p for every view. So if you're watching this video, thanks very much for the 3p that AdSense has generated through YouTube. But that's another story. So look, back to the verde cutting and, and these seed heads. The grass in here has been let grow for the last month. We haven't had any sheep in here for a while. And as you can see, it's just a sea of, of seed heads everywhere. If I let the poana grow, go, it would be seeding like mad. Whenever you've already cut it, you're putting the grass under pressure and you're creating or you're taking away its ability to grow so many seed heads because you're putting it under stress. So the thinking is, even if you've already cut with the box off, yes, those seed heads are going to fall down onto the ground and yes, some of them are going to go into the lawn even if we cut it afterwards. But if you think to yourself, if, if you apply a bit of common sense to, the, to your thought process, those seed heads that are growing on the lawn, if you don't do anything, nature's going to find a way and whenever they're ready to go, they're going to blow across the lawn regardless. So if I don't already cut them, they're going to grow and they're going to fall into the lawn and the poana, it's going to have more ability to carry on producing seed heads. But if I'm already cutting and if I'm putting that grass under stress, then it's going to have less ability to create seed heads and that's the thing behind it. And at least whenever I cut the grass afterwards, I'm cutting, I'm collecting some of those seed heads in the box. If it didn't, if it didn't then those seed heads, they would be 100% on the lawn regardless. But listen, whatever you think, if you think I'm right or if you think I'm wrong, leave me a comment down below.